All right, so we're modifying this old recoil model aim track to be wireless. Uh, now this uh, Bluetooth adapter kit isn't for the recoil version of the gun. So uh, what I'm doing here is I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the recoil, ver uh, the recoil components and uh, get all of the original wiring out of the way. There goes the recoil unit. Now the, uh, the trigger board's a little different on the recoil unit, but I'm just gonna go ahead and clip the wires that are coming off the recoil and the additional power leads for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that trigger board back in place along with the front button board. Double check the trigger, still clicking the uh, trigger button. Now this is the, this is it, this is the Bluetooth kit. This is the, uh, the power circuit, there's a little input for the battery and an input for the charging port down on the bottom and a completely new sensor on the front that has your Bluetooth radio in it. And you do not run the wire that way. So you run the wire down below. Yeah, so run the down, down below under the trigger guard and right up to the nose of the gun where the old sensor board was. Go ahead and plug in your trigger board and buttons. And that's it. Just to go ahead and fit that right back in there. Now here's the uh, lithium ion battery. Now it has a little block of foam in there to make sure that it's a snug fit, but it's actually too snug with the, uh, the recoil version of the trigger board actually is too big to let the battery fit in there. So I am just going to have to trim back some of the components that I no longer need because again, I don't have the recoil in this unit anymore. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get this board back out of the gun shell. Double check the sizing. And it looks like I can just get rid of this power component on the back here. And I don't have to cut away anything from the board itself. There we go. Fit that back in, check fit with the battery. Perfect. Trigger still clicks. And that battery's not going anywhere. Okay, gonna get that battery plugged into the uh, power board at the bottom. Double check all the fitment of wires again. And get the uh, shell put back together. Right. Now on the bottom of the gun is uh, is the plug to charge it. This does come with a, uh, a USB cable for charging. Now this is just for charging. This is not a USB cable for any communication or function of the gun. So you can just plug that into a USB adapter for a wall board to charge it. <laughs> bye bye cable. You go ahead and sync this up like any wireless mouse in your Windows computer and you are good to go. Works just like a regular aim track. You just pull the trigger to wake it up. You're, uh, you got no more wires. It's a lot of fun to be able to just play this, you know, without having uh, that literal tether pulling on the gun the whole time. So, I highly recommend this Bluetooth kit from Ultimark really easy to install, especially if you don't have a recoil version of the aim track and you don't have to do any modifications. But even if you have the recoil version like this, as long as you're willing to lose that recoil, you're good to go.